Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. We are on day 1,911 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we're on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along in today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, How much better to get wisdom than gold and sound judgment than silver? If you apply the words that you hear today, over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is an Italian proverb, and it is, After the game, the king and the pawn go into the same box. So today's nugget is, we are the same. Maybe it's my simplistic mindset or a healthy self-image, but I have never looked at people in positions of power, rank, or influence as someone extra special or someone to be revered. For the most part, we all put our pants on one leg at a time. We all must eat and sleep to maintain life. And at some point, we will all die, leaving everything that we have behind. Then within a few years, most of us will be forgotten, no matter what our station is in life. What is more important than who we are on earth is to realize that we all serve one unique God who is the creator and Lord over everything. The fact is that God made us to be his imagers and we all have the same access to his throne. We are all accountable to God. We are all unique in his sight and we were created for his purpose. We should do his purpose regardless of our position or rank in the world. Yes, indeed, at the end of the game of life, the king and the pawn are placed in the same box. It is most important on how well you played. And our passage for today is Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things that we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. And as you ponder on this nugget of wisdom for yourself, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,910 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. In addition, I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player to automatically download each day's trek. And finally, if you'd also like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together... Let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.